Good evening, Pinellas County Schools families, and welcome to the Parent Academy webinar, Simple Starts to Growing Young Readers. My name is Sheila Kane, and I'm the District Coordinator for Family and Community Engagement. We're happy you've taken the opportunity to participate tonight. If you are joining us on your laptop or desktop, please make sure you're using Chrome as your browser. If you're on a mobile device, you will need to download the Blackboard app to see the slides. For questions this evening, please open the Collaborate panel by using the purple arrows on the lower right hand of your screen, and then use the conversation bubble to type in your questions anytime throughout the presentation. Our presenters will answer the questions as the session goes along this evening. We are doing something new in the webinar tonight. One of our presenters will be demonstrating some of the suggested activities. So we will move from slides to camera and back. Thanks for your patience as we do this. Make sure you are, are in presenter view by clicking the icon in the upper right hand part of your screen. This will move you from group view to presenter view and you'll get the best view from the activities. All the demonstrations will be in video links in your follow up email tomorrow. So not to worry if something goes wrong or you can't see everything just perfectly. Okay, on to the presentation. We are privileged tonight to have as our presenters uh, two ladies instructional staff developers from Pinellas County Schools, Ms. Tina Carr and Ms. Diane Porter. Ladies, it's all yours. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, as Sheila mentioned, we are going to be going over some activities that, um, that you can do at home with your little ones. A lot of times we get questions about um, things that you all can do as parents at home to help to help your students, you know, with their letters or to um, begin reading and all of that. So some of the activities that we do tonight um, are will help you to do just that. So let's go ahead and get started. For these activities, you really won't need a whole lot. All you will need are some alphabet letters, um, some writing materials, you know, just a basic notepad, pen, anything that they could write with, an alphabet chart and a sight word list, which we will be sending you um, tomorrow when you get the, the link for the recorded session. You'll have copies of those as well. Uh, we're going to show you an activity you can use uh, with two different colors of yarn, so we'll explain what to do with that. And also dry erase, a dry erase board and markers, and of course, our favorite books. So, the idea really is to just keep it simple and keep it fun. Reading is so much fun, and um, that's really the whole the whole point of doing these activities. Um, before you have readers, they first need to know their letters and sounds and work with words. Um, so this is all going to help them to be, become stronger readers. So some of the activities, of course, starting with uh, learning letters, you can see in the picture there, there are some magnetic letters and the alphabet chart there that I had mentioned will get a copy for you. And you can see there what we've done there with the yarn. We made a couple of circles. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of the things. Um, what you're going to do when you start these activities, you're first going to give them a bag with letters that they already know. So if you're not sure, you can ask the, your child's teacher, you know, what are their known letters? and um, and Otherwise, you can just check them at home, go through the alphabet and see what letters that they already know. It's important to use their known letters in the bag so that they're comfortable um, doing these activities. Um, the goal is for your child to quickly recognize known letters. So um, here's a list of some of the activities that you can do. Matching letters to an alphabet chart, laying out the letters and naming them from left to right, sorting them by shape. You could find a, have them find a letter and name a word that begins with that letter. Find a letter that makes that sound. And name a letter that begins that word. So with that, I am going to show you a, a couple of um, activities. So B, let's see, I'm going to see. 
Do you see me? I hope. Tina, I just see the little you in the corner the of the screen. Oh. There we go. There we go. It's, 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 it's working. It's coming. I think I. Oh, do you see me now? Yes, I do. Great. Thank you so much. So, yeah, so here is um, just an example of uh, the bag of letters that you would start with. So notice that there aren't that many letters in there, and that's okay. Your student might not know a, a lot of letters, and that's why you'll be doing these activities. Um, so with that said, <clears throat> of course, I, I have already given you the list of some of the activities. And just so that you know, you will be getting um, a list as well with the alphabet chart and the, the link for the recorded session. You will be getting a list of um, a description of all of these activities as well, but I'm gonna show them a, a couple of them to you now. So one of them that you would do, you would give your child the alphabet chart and, um, and they, would, they would pick a letter from their bag, they would name the letter D and they would find the matching picture on their alphabet chart, dog and they would put the letter D right on top of the dog. Of course, this would be flat on the table. I'm lifting it up for you to see. So they would take the D and say, D, dog, and match it up. So that's an activity that they can do. You saw in the picture another activity that you could do is um, to take the, the two different colored pieces of yarn and just form a circle and lay that right out on your table. So you have the two different colored circles and then you're going to have them match um, or sort letters by features. So let's say you might have um, some letters with humps, like the letter M. Maybe some of the letters in their bag have circles. So you'll just have them pull out letters from their bag and decide where they would go. And they, of course, would name the letters when they pull them out. So they would say D. That would go with the O because they both have circles. Maybe they'll pull out the letter H and they'll say H. And they may put that with the M because it, they both have humps. So of course, I'm using a magnetic board to demonstrate, but what you would have them do, you would just, you would have the, each of the letters in their own circle. So all of the hump letters might be in this circle and all of the circle letters would, or, the ones with the circle in it might be in the other color. So that's another activity that you can do. Um, something else that you could do with your alphabet chart, you could bring out the alphabet chart again and you can say, okay, um, look in the first row. Um, look in the first row. Can you find a, a, the letter that says B? And then your child can say B, B and they can find the letter B, and then they would say book, B, B, book. So that's something else that you can do with this alphabet chart as well. So, um, so now we're gonna talk about some other activities that you can do, um, this time moving into um, words. <clears throat> so again, I'm going to talk about a couple of the things, but you will be getting a, a sheet tomorrow that uh, has all the description of these different activities. But um, three of the activities that we're going to go through tonight are called What's Missing, Mix and Fix, and Rainbow Writing. So another tip that I can tell you, um, you can ask your child's teacher for a list of sight words that they can practice. There are uh, some suggested sight words for different levels, and we're also going to send you a list of those sight words as well so that you can determine which words to use. So you'll pick your child, decide what your child's level, reading level is, and you can um, pick a, a sight word from that list. And your teacher probably will give you an idea of which ones that they need um, some help with and some support. So. Um, Again, you'll see there in the picture, there's a, a list of the sight words. Um, I have a, a, a page just in a, a clear page protector, some dry erase markers, some magnetic letters, 
Um, those are the things that you're going to need for that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the camera view again so that you can see me demonstrate a couple of those activities. And I'm hoping that it will come up. Just be patient with me. I think it might take a couple of seconds to switch over here and there. Are you all seeing me yet? Okay, I think yes, it's- I'm seeing you now. Okay, okay, great. Yes, you see me? Hmm. It's not coming up just yet. I can see. I can see you, Tina. This is Sheila Kane. Okay. okay. Thank you, Sheila. Okay. So uh, the first one that we're going to talk about is called what's missing. So for this activity, you're going to pick um, a word from that site word list that again, that we're going to share that list with you and it'll come to your email with the recorded session. So you'll choose a list from the site word list or you'll choose a word from the site word list. And you'll tell your student, all right, so um, this is the word can. And you'll just kind of do a reveal. Take a good look. When you do this, it really helps their eyes to focus on one letter at a time. So you'll say, take a good look. All right. And when, they're, when they can't see, you'll erase one of the letters. And you ask them, what's missing? And they'll, of course, tell you C. Right, and you put the C right back on there. What's missing in? Right, then you could even erase two letters. What's missing A in? Right, can. And that's what's missing. All right. So I think instead of going back and forth in between the camera and the slides, since it's taking a, a little time to get to for it to catch up, I'm just going to go right into the next activity. Um, so another one that you can do is called um, mix and fix. And so for this activity, you would of course still give, you're going to choose a, a word from the word list and you would tell your student, okay, this is the word can. So they'll have a model and you just lay this right out at the table so that they can have it and they can see it. And for this one, they're going to take the magnetic letters. I'm going to show you on a board, of course, so that, that you can see clearly, but they will do this right on the table. So they've got the model word that you've already shown them, can. You say, this is the word can. Can you make the word can? You give them the letters and they just build it right there on the table. Okay, and then you say, mix it up. And they mix it. Okay, now fix it. They still have the model on the table so they can use that to help if they need it. And have them say the word as they're putting it together. Can. Great. So, and that's how you do mix and fix. All right, and so one other activity that you can do with your students, again, using a word from the site word list, a popular one tonight happens to be the word can, but what you can do is uh, you can have them trace the word. I have it uh, written on a, just a plain white paper, but then I stuck it in a page protector so that way we can erase it and they can use this one again and again, um, just in case you need to practice that one on more than one occasion. You can also do this activity uh, with um, letters if they're practicing writing letters and um, learning their letters and even for their name. If they're having a hard time writing their name, you can do this activity for that as well. So how it works, rainbow writing, you're just actually taking multiple colors of dry erase markers for this particular occasion because I have the page protector. If you don't have a page protector, just use crayons or markers, but just have them trace over the word and have them say it as they're writing. Can. And then they can choose a different color. K. 
can. And that's rainbow writing. All right, so with that, and now just be patient, we're going to switch over to, yeah, we're going to switch back over to the slides. Should pop up in a second here. All right. We may have some questions, so um, let's, so I'm going to switch over to Diana for a minute so she can answer some of the questions that have been coming up. So we had a question, Tina. Um, what age group is this targeting? And so when you look at the activities that Tina's been modeling, you can see that we're primarily looking at early childhood, those children who are in pre-K, maybe early into kindergarten, who are learning letters, learning sounds, and beginning to learn some basic sight words that will help them as they read. Okay, great question. Thank you. Um, so we talked about, of course, let's see, we talked about um, those different activities. Now we're going to move into some real world writing. And basically what that means is just real life things. What you see in the picture here are things that were are actually in my home <laughs> that my son, um, he, he takes opportunities, he writes things. So anytime you can get your, your child involved in writing things, that's going to help them. Um, it's not always going to be spelled exactly the way we would spell it or spelled perfectly, but that's all a part of them um, getting used to the writing and, and understanding what the, the, me, the, the whole purpose of, of words and knowing what your letters and sounds, that you put your letters and sounds together to make words. So on the list here, you see um, shopping lists. They can help with shopping lists. Uh, writing out thank you cards after they get gifts or um, writing notes to each other, calendar events. I don't know. You, I, it's kind of hard to see. I, I tried to get so many examples there in the picture. But one of them, uh, my one of my personal favorites, I actually borrowed this from my son's bedroom door. It actually was taped there. And it says, if you want to come in, you can't. I want space. <laughs> so I kind of see if I can uh, find that one there. Um, yeah, this one right here. I don't know if you can see my hand there pointing, but yes, isn't that a gem? So <laughs> he, he actually, you know, at least he was expressing himself. But then there, uh, he did follow up with, a, with a, another one of my favorites that I, I actually was taped right up on the wall next to my bed. Dear mom, you have amazing handwriting. Love, Colin. Hamsty and Finney. Of course, Hamsty is our hamster and Finney the fish. So, so any time you get the opportunity for your children to write things, um, it's it's a blessing and it really is. Uh, it does help them to put it all together. So those are some ideas for that. Um, let's see here. So the last thing that we want to talk about before we go tonight is, you know, um, actually putting this all together to, to read books. It's one of our uh, favorite things to do. And that is, you know, that is really why we're all here, to help our, our little ones to become better readers and writers. And um, so we have tonight some, some tips for you to use as you're reading aloud at home. Um, just the idea to read to your child every day it really is important for them to hear you modeling the right the reading a book and putting it all together it, it's very powerful um, so try to find a regular time and a quiet cozy place to read to them um, during that time of course you'll want to turn off your cell phone or the computer or the tv um, sometimes whenever you're a lot of the times whenever you're reading a book your child is going to be so into it that they'll want to really look at the pictures and that's okay encourage them to to take it all in and they may ask questions and 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 talk about the pictures it's okay if we don't read it boom 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 every page right after the other encourage them to talk about it and, and get involved with the story um, they might want to help you hold the book and turn the pages you can invite them to even point to the words on the page um, or help you read the words, especially if it's a, a story you've read together lots of times. They'll have memorized some of the parts and they'll want to read it with you. So encourage that. 
read with expression. So um, try different voices when there are different characters in the book. Um, so try reading like that and, and they'll mimic you. Then they'll start to read that way too. And of course, talk about the story with your child, even while you're reading it and after it's over, really get them involved. And, um, and so that really will encourage that love of reading. So with that, um, I think I don't I think we've cleared up all of the questions that we had had um, throughout. So what we're going to leave you with tonight, we have um, an opportunity that we are going to read together now. Um, so I will be switching it over to the camera view. And while I'm doing that, while that's kind of catching up, if you would like to go ahead and, and bring your little ones to the computer with you so they can see the book. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read a, a, a story tonight that you all can and enjoy with us. So hopefully that will catch up. We're going to be reading the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. Your children might already know this book from school. It's a, it's a favorite. Can you all see me? Great. So, of course, I'm reading this book to you now, and um, I'm reading it to you as a teacher would, but at home, you, of course, would have your, your little ones in your lap or sh sitting in the chair next to you. Like I said, they may be holding the book. So this is something that should be really cozy and, and just, just fun and snuggle time. And I'll tell you that I do have an appointment when I get home with my son. He, prom he said, Mommy, promise me that you'll be home in time for reading tonight. So this is one of our favorite times of the day. And um, we, we try not to, to miss that in our schedule. It's one of our favorite things, and we like to end our day that way. So um, I hope that you uh, have some ideas um, that you can take along with you for learning letters and working with words and, of course, reading books with your children. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and read the book for you. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin, Jr. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. A told B and B told C. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D to E F G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K, all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming, L M N O P. and QRS and TUV. Still more W and XYZ. The whole alphabet of the, oh no. Uh oh, what's happening there? <gasps> chicka chicka, boom, boom. There's all the letters. That tree was a little too heavy. Skit, scat, scoodle doot, flip flop flea. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. Help us up, cried ABC. Next from the pile up, skinned knee D. Oh. And stubbed toe E. And patched up F. Then comes G. Oh, all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted. 
like a tie. Where's L? Oh, I see L knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted. Ollie oop. Skit, scat, scootle doot. Flip, flop, flee. Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed P. Q R S. And loose tooth T. Oh my goodness, T got a loose tooth out of that. Oh boy. Then U V W, wiggle jiggle free. Last to come, X Y Z, and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But. Chicka chicka boom boom. Look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. And that's the end. Hope you got to enjoy the um, read aloud with your little ones. And uh, thanks again for joining us tonight. I hope you were able to take away some activities and fun things to do with letters and words. Again, you'll be getting um, the information and the materials uh, to, to print off to use um, coming in your email tomorrow. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ms. Carr, Ms. Porter, for great tips on working with young readers. Uh, families, if you have questions that weren't answered tonight, maybe you're going to think about it later or tomorrow, um, anytime, feel free, please, to send me an email. Uh, my name is Sheila Kane. I sent you the link to this webinar, so you have my email address. Uh, I promise I'll follow up with you and get you to the right resource. Also, please remember to check out our upcoming parent academies. Some are in traditional format at schools or community centers, and others are in this format via webinar. The Fall Parent Academy catalog is also available on the Pinellas County Schools website. Thanks again, everyone. Have a nice rest of your evening. Look forward to the email tomorrow, and we'll see you in the next academy. And thank you, ladies.